If you are using these base shakers on your simulator, you are dramatically ruining the way that your simulator feels. Let me talk about it. Look, I know how cool it is to put these haptic base shakers all over the simulator, right? You could put them over here on the side of the chassis, you could put them under the seat, you could put them in the front, you can have them literally everywhere vibrating. You could even put one of these in each corner of the simulator so you can feel your left front, your right front, your left rear, and your right rear, but don't do that. I promise you are ruining how good your simulator can feel and how well these haptic bash base shakers can actually vibrate your simulator if you put too many of them on your chassis. The reason why is because these base shakers have a lot of power. This is a 50 watt uh, model. This is the BST-1 by Dayton Audio. We use these and we also use the 300 watt model which is the 300EX by Dayton. Um, that's a big model also. It looks just like this but larger. And what we found is this is easily a system where less is more. If you actually use a little bit less space shakers, we only use two of these now. We used to load it up or we tried it because it sounded really cool, but we only use two of them. If you only put two of them, one on the left, one on the right, and then you go into SimHub and you set these as just left and right base shakers, it will feel so much better on your simulator because you will actually be able to feel if it's the left side of the car or the right side of the car that you're getting the haptic vibration from. The problem that most people do and it makes sense is you want to put this on each corner of the simulator. But the thing is, is once you have one of these on every corner of the sim, you can no longer decipher what is actually vibrating. If it vibrates on the left front and the left rear, now suddenly the entire chassis just feels like it's vibrating because you have these huge base shakers vibrating. And so what we found out was if you just put two of these, two is beautiful, one is great, two is even better. Just put two of them. One on the left side under your seat, one on the right side under the seat, and you're done. And that's all you'll use these for. Go into SimHub, set them. After that, use these. These are unreal, these SimMagic haptic reactors. And you guys know, I don't use SimMagic. I don't like using it. These are unreal. This kit is unbelievable. If you haven't used it yet, you need to look into this because it's not a vibration pack that's just spinning and vibrating or giving a bzzz sound under your foot. That's not at all what this is. I hated those, vi those vibration ones. This right here is actually like a piece of metal that it, it electronically gets charged and it's smacking boom, boom, boom right underneath your foot. And you can actually feel the pound under your foot. It actually feels like ABS without having to have an ABS system. I mean, these things are so cool. So you put this base shaker right here on the back side, underneath your butt, under your seat, right? One on the left, one on the right. You grab these SimMagic uh, haptic reactors. You put one on the gas pedal and one on the brake pedal. And that gives you on the brake pedal ABS lockup and, uh, and lockup. And it also gives you uh, on the throttle pedal, it'll give you uh, wheel spin. So then from your feet, now right underneath your foot, you're getting this, this shake, this, this vibration, and now you can feel, you know, hey, I just got into ABS lockup, because you feel it under your foot, under the brake. Hey, I'm getting wheel spin, because you feel it under your, your foot on the throttle. And then, oh my gosh, brrr, I just got inside some gravel, I feel it under my butt, or I'm starting to actually lose the rear end, I feel it in my butt. That's where the value comes from. So don't make the mistake of putting too many of these on your simulator. I know how easy it is to do and I know because in theory it sounds logical. It sounds like a great idea. In practice, after you put this many of these big ones on the sim, it turns into a jumbled mess. You can no longer feel actually what feedback the sim is trying to give to you because it just feels like a vibration mess. So less is more. Take my advice on this one. If you guys need any of these parts, whether it be haptic reactors or you want um, this kit, we sell both of these on our website. If you have any questions, you can reach out to us by email, support at simcoaches.com. You can even text me directly at 702-246-2295, and I'll help get figure out what you guys need for your simulator so that it can feel pristine. All right, guys, with that, I'm gonna get out of here. Enjoy the rest of your day. We will chat later. Peace out.